Hey guys, Cal Torak here. Today, I want to bring you my Weak Aura and Add-On Guide for Season of Discovery. I've just finished my official Season of Discovery Weak Aura pack, which I think you guys are going to like a lot. I will be quickly going over this Weak Aura and my favorite add-ons for classic mage farming. Weak Auras, in my mind, is the most important add-on in classic. You'll want to install the add-on, then go to our Weak Aura page. Click Copy Import String. Then in game, you will type slash WA to open up the Weak Aura menu. At the top, click Import and paste that string. And hit Import again. You'll find a link to the Weak Aura in the description below, and should be in all my videos going forward. My current favorite thing about this Weak Aura is the Living Bomb tracking. Not only does it tell you how many targets currently have Living Bomb, but it also has a timer for each individual explosion. It makes preparing for your kill phase so much easier being able to track how much burst you have left during your blizzard. It also has a standard Living Flame mob counter, active remaining time on the spell, as well as how many mobs are in it. And of course, we have the beacon timer for healing as well. It also tracks your important buffs, such as Arcane Intellect and Frost Armor. Inside of this pack, we have also included Nan Shield Classic. Any longtime mage will be familiar with this weak aura, because it's amazing. It puts health bars next to your character for shield effects. It gives you a nice visual aid for how much HP your shields have. This works for Mana Shield, Power Ward Shield, Frost Ward, Fire Ward, and most importantly, Ice Barrier. This Shield Weak Aura will be huge come Phase 2 when we are using Ice Barrier in most of our farms. We will be updating this Weak Aura pack throughout the entirety of Season of Discovery. Make sure you are checking it for updates, and if you have any requests or ideas for the Weak Aura, let me know down below. We will try and work in as much as we can. Okay, as for add-ons, here are what I find most important. Plater. It's a nameplate add-on. It makes enemy nameplates way easier to read. It displays their remaining health and debuffs on them. Super useful for farming. OmniCC. This add-on is awesome. It'll check the timer of debuffs on the enemy, such as Polymorph. It will display it on their frames. It also puts a cooldown tracker on all of your spells, as you can see on my hotbar. Nova Instance Tracker. This add-on is very important for dungeon farming and boosting. It'll help you keep track of your lockouts, making it easier for you to avoid hitting the hourly cap. It also tracks total mobs killed, time inside, gold earned, who traded you gold for boosting, and if you are leveling, it will track your XP per hour and total XP gained. Speedy Auto Loot. Sometimes, even with Auto Loot on, mob windows get stuck or they're looted too slowly. Speedy Auto Loot makes auto looting way cleaner. I don't even see the pop up box at all. The loot just goes straight into my bags. It's not the end of the world, but for farms like Mara and Wailing Caverns where you're looting hundreds of mobs at once, it's really, really good quality of life improvement. D Junk. Easy vendoring of greys. Just click this button, it'll display how much you are vendoring, and then it auto-vendors all of it. Character Stats Classic. Way better stat displaying for your character panel. Can easily check to see your spell damage, even breaks it down per damage type. Okay, that's my list. I really hope you guys like the weak aura. I've been enjoying it. If you found it or this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Have a good one, y'all.